Day of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Well, right, old fellow. What's the idea of running away from your partner like that? Can't you wait until the show's over? Uh, hello there, Jerry. <laughs> You've been watching the show, huh? Uh-huh. I thought I'd stand here by the back door and see how you and Rags are getting along with the new trick. Well, did you like the way we worked? I sure did, Bumps. It was keen. Yeah, all but the finish. <laughs> I guess Rags got so proud of his new tricks he got excited and he ran out of the ring before I did. Yeah, I just noticed that. And I told Rags about it. <laughs> <laughs> Will you coming over to the wagon, Jerry? I want to get this makeup off. Yeah, I'll walk over with you. But I want to go over to the horse stand after a while and ride Splendor again. Whitey said I should ride him a little every day. Well, then you better run along now so you'll have some time with that favorite colt of yours before dinner. No use in your hanging around our wagon and watching me take off makeup <laughs> if you got a horse to train. Oh, I'm not training him yet. Whitey says he's got to be used to his bridle and saddle before I can start him out on any trick. Uh, I shouldn't wonder if Whitey's right. Uh, Splendor's still a youngster, you know, what we call green. Yeah, I know, but he's smart. Sure he's smart. His father and mother were mighty fine high school horses. You see, Jerry, horses are the same as humans. If we have pretty good parents, well, we turn out pretty good, too. That's the way it is with race horses. If a colt's father was a real fast horse, then the colt turns out to be a real fast horse when he grows up. <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> well, Whitey said as soon as Splendor gets used to taking some commands and feels easy when someone's riding him, then I'll be ready to learn some tricks. Well, did Whitey tell you that Splendor might turn out to be a jumper? Yeah, he said Splendor's mother was one of the best jumpers ever was. But I don't think I could learn to jump with a horse. Oh, now don't say that, Jerry. <laughs> Why, you can learn to do anything. Before I grow up. Why, sure. Say, I remember being with a small circus years ago. And there was a boy there, not more than 12 or 14 years old with the outfit, that could do an awful lot of fancy riding. Well, and I guess I can, too. Why, sure you can, Jerry. Hey. Mm-hmm. What is it, Jerry? Oh, where's Rags? Well, well, I didn't notice him run off. Rags! Rags! <whistles> Rags! Hmm? Here, Rags! Oh, oh, there he is, Jerry. Oh, he's way over there by the sideshows. You see him? Oh, yeah. And it looks like he's found something. See his tail wag? Yeah, well, you better run along now and see what he's got into. <laughs> okay, Bumps. See you in the mess tent at dinner. All right. Goodbye, Jerry. Rags! Rags! What have you got? What is it, Rags? What are you barking at? Oh, yeah. All out of breath. What do you got there, Rags? Look out. Hey, it's a snake. Get away from there, Rags. Help, help, somebody. A snake is loose. What's the noise out there? A big snake is loose. Looks like it just crawled out from under the tent. A snake is loose. My goodness. You better run for one of the guards. Hurry. Well, I'll take care of it. Where is he? Right here, see? Oh, you naughty snake. You are bad to run away. Is it your snake? Sure he is. Oh, certainly. You're lead of the snake charmer, aren't you? Mm-hmm. And you're Jerry. And this is your dog, Ray. That's right. Well, better hold your dog. He looks like he might go after my bad boy that runs away and is forever crawling out of his basket. Right. Stop now. Come here. Now you be good. <laughs> well, this is the only snake I ever own that likes to get out and go places. Isn't he dangerous? I mean, won't he bite? Oh, it wouldn't matter if he did. You see, his fangs have been taken out. That's where they keep the poison, isn't it? That's right. And no poison, no damage. 
Uh, but I guess it is not good business to let him around loose anyway. I should say not. A lot of people would get scared to death if they saw a big snake like him. Well, I suppose he is a big, dangerous snake to people that do not know him. But to me, he is a... Well, he's a big baby. <laughs> the idea, getting out of your basket. I guess I will have to tie a bell around you so I know where you are. <laughs> That's a good idea, Lita. <laughs> Quiet, Ray. Well, I thank you, Jerry, for finding this bad boy of mine. It wasn't me who found him. It was Ray. Well, then, thank you, Ray. <laughs> Smart little dog, aren't you? He's the smartest dog I ever saw. Yeah, that's the boy, Jerry. Always stick up for him. Because he'll always stick up for you. Well, I guess I'll put this fellow back in his basket where he belongs. Can I come in and see the rest of your snakes? Well, sure, if you'd like to. But you'd better leave Rags outside the tent here. He might excite my pet. Okay. Now, Rags, you stay right here and wait for me. And come okay, on, Jerry. Now. Come on, Jerry. Oh, boy. So this is where you keep him. In these big baskets. Yes, Jerry. You see, when we are playing a stand, I keep them in their baskets. They get more air that way. But when they move, I put them in those special built trunks over there in the corner of the tent. How many snakes have you got? Only 16 this season. 16? Mm -hmm. Golly, that's a lot. Well, I've had as many as 30 at one time, Jerry. All big ones like these in the baskets? Mm -hmm. And even some bigger ones. I owned once the largest boa constrictor in captivity. You did? Mm-hmm. Well, I better put my little runaway back in his basket. Mm. There you go. Now you stay put. You'll just have to wait until we get back to winter quarters before you can do any running around. Does he understand when you talk to him? Well, I don't know, Jerry. But I think they know a little something. Not as much as dogs, though. No, of course not. Dogs really understand. Dogs and horses, to my way of thinking, are the smartest. That's what I think, too. I'm going to teach Splendor some tricks pretty soon. Splendor? Who's Splendor? Oh, that's a little cold over at the horse stand. Oh. I guess you wouldn't know about him if you haven't been over the horse stand. No, I never get over there, Jerry. That reminds me. I'd better get over there right now. I want to take Splendor out for a little ride before dinner. Well, you come back sometime, anytime, and I'll tell you all about the snakes. Okay, I will, and, and thanks. <laughs> Not at all, Jerry. And thanks to you and Rags for finding that bad snake of mine. Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Lita. Come on, Rags. <laughs> well, fella, you missed it. I saw a whole lot of snakes. Great big ones, too. <laughs> yes, I did. Hurry up. Come on, now. I won't have much time with Splendor before dinner. <laughs> well, all right, then. Run ahead a little. Oh, look, there's Whitey in front of the horse tent now. Whitey! <laughs> Whitey! Well, hello, Jerry. Is it all right to take Splendor out for a little ride? Uh, yeah, sure, Jerry. <laughs> but you'll have to saddle him up yourself. Uh, think you can do it? Sure I can. <laughs> but aren't you going to watch me ride him? Well, I'm afraid I can't just now, Jerry. Uh, I've got to go place an order for some oats. Uh, but come on in. Uh, I'll get his stuff together for you, and we'll get Splendor out back. Okay. Uh, here comes your rider, Splendor. <laughs> Quiet, Rags. Now you behave. Yes, Rags, old fella. <laughs> you don't want to get Splendor excited. Hello, Splendor. Want to go for a little ride? Yeah, here, here's his bridle, Jerry. His saddle's right over here in the corner. All right, Whitey. I think I'd better give you a hand with his bridle, though. He, he may not take to that bit so quick. Take that rope hauler off, and we'll slip this on. That's the boy. Nice, Splendor. Easy now. This won't hurt. He's doing all right for a cold, Jerry. It's only natural for a youngster like Splendor to shy from a bridle and bit. I guess it would be kind of hard for us to get used to having a bit in our mouth. <laughs> well, I should hope so. That'd drive most folks plumb crazy. <laughs> Easy now, Splendor. Come on. Open up. Come on, boy. Come on. That's it. Now, there we are. Golly, that was easy. <laughs> now, there's no use you shaking your head like that. The bridle stays on, so you might as well get used to it. How long should I ride him today, Whitey? Well, now, uh, we don't want to overdo it, Jerry. Maybe you'd better just walk him around for a while and then try him out on turns. If he takes the commands, okay, try shorter turns. You might even trot him a little, but don't let him gallop if you can help it. It's sure going to be a lot of fun when I can start him out on some little tricks. And it'll bring you a lot of satisfaction when you know that it was you that showed him how to perform. You know, Jerry, uh, horses can be awful smart, but they don't learn tricks by themselves. Why? Yes, Jerry? Do you think maybe I'll turn out to be a trick rider someday? <laughs> well, now, that's hard to say. You might. Bunk told me he was once with a circus where they had a boy as old as me that could do all sorts of fancy trick riding. Well, I've heard tell of things like that myself. Uh, 
You know, I once knew a boy that was a pretty good rider when he was only six years old. You did? Mm-hmm. And he rode the horse bareback. No fooling. I sure did. Mm-hmm. What do you mean, I sure did? Well, that boy was me, Jerry. Oh, why do you you mean it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was brought up on a farm, Jerry, and I got a lot of early training with horses. I started to love the critters when I was only one year old. It was on my birthday, my first birthday, and my father set me up in an old roan mare to have my picture taken. Really? Yes, sir. And I cried something awful when they took me down off that horse. <laughs> I guess I was a pretty sight to see, with little or no hair on my head, a long white lacy dress on, and perched up on an old work horse crying my eyes out. <laughs> I'll bet that was funny. Yep. <laughs> How come you started with the circus? Oh, well, now, that's a long story, Jerry. Tell me about it. Mm, some other time. You remind me someday when there isn't a lot to do. I'll tell you the whole story from start to finish. Did you run away and join the circus? No, don't try to get me started. I'm <laughs> a great hand at digging up memories and telling about them. When I get to talking about my boyhood days, there's no stopping me. I haven't got time now. Besides, you've got to get busy with Splendor. Come on, let's take him out back. Okay. Come on, Splendor. Yeah, you think you can get that saddle on without any help? Oh, sure I can. Now, don't forget to get that cinch strap good and tight. Well, you don't want that saddle to slip. Yeah, I know. I'll get it tied. Well, I've got to run along now, Jerry. When you get through with Splendor, take off the bridle and saddle and tie him up again. Okay, Whitey. Now, you be careful now. All right. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay, goodbye. Whoa, Splendor. Now, let's put this saddle on. Hold still now. Uh, there we are. Quiet, Rags. Don't you chase after us when I get up on Splendor. Hold, hold still, Splendor. You gotta tighten the cinch strap now. Now you know this won't hurt you. Let me get it good and tight now. Oh, Splendor. I can't get it as tight as Whitey did, but I guess that'll hold it all right. Besides, I, I'm not heavy enough to make the saddle slip. I'm gonna get up in the saddle now, Splendor. Hold real still. Oh, Splendor. How can I get up on you if you keep moving around like that? Now up I go. There. Now let me get the reins. There we are. Okay, let's go. Giddy up, Splendor. Easy, boy. Whoa, slower. Slower, Splendor. Now, when I turn your head to the right this way, that means to go to the right. That's it. Nice, Splendor. Get back, Ray. Don't come so close. Go on, get back. Now to the left, Splendor. That's the way. You're learning fast. Whoa, Splendor. Not so fast. Take it easy. Hey, wait a minute, Splendor. Slower. 